Keeping your designs organized isn't just about being neat. It's about working smarter, saving time, and possibly even saving your sanity. Whether you're managing assets for a brand, creating templates for a team, or streamlining your creative process, Canva makes it easy to store, categorize, and retrieve content when you need it. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create and customize folders, save and store important elements, organize projects, and manage sharing permissions. Let's dive in. Let's start by setting up folders to categorize your designs and assets. From the home page, go to Projects. This is where all your saved work will live. From here, you can filter by designs, folders, shared projects, and templates. To create a new folder, simply go to Add New and choose Folder. Today, we're helping the marketing manager at Realty Commercial as they organize content for their upcoming property marketing campaign. They need to ensure that branding elements, listing designs, and promotional materials are neatly stored and easily accessible for the team. Once you've created a folder, saving it is simple. When you're working on a design, go to File, select Move to Folder, and choose the appropriate folder from the drop-down list. This keeps all your content neatly organized in one place. Folders are even more useful when they're customized to fit your needs. Let's look at how you can rename, move, and organize your folders. To rename a folder, select the three dots here and choose Rename. You can also move folders by dragging and dropping them into the other folders, which helps create a clear hierarchy for your projects. You might organize by department, client, or project phase, whatever makes it easier to locate your work. Canvas search tool makes it easy to find past designs, even if you have hundreds of projects. Filters help refine searches based on file type, creation date, and more. The marketing manager at Realty Commercial is looking for last year's property listing flyer to repurpose for the upcoming campaign. To search for a design, go to the Projects tab and enter a keyword. Use the filter options to narrow results by file type, creator, or date modified. In your day-to-day -day work, it's likely you'll want to use the same element, like a graphic, photo, or even a template across different designs or projects. For example, Realty Commercial often reuses their business card templates and best-performing social media templates so they can quickly adapt them for future listings. If you find an element you might want to use again, tap the star icon next to it. This saves it to your starred folder of go-to design assets, which you can access anytime under starred. Now you have a personalized library of assets ready to go. Canva gives you access to a vast library of elements. You can view complete collections from creators to keep your designs consistent. When you find an element you like, select the three dots and choose view collection. This lets you see other elements in the same style or from the same creator, making it easy to keep a consistent theme across your designs. You can also follow specific creators to keep up with their new content, which helps maintain a cohesive look when working on branded materials. Keeping content organized is even more important when working with a team. Canvas team folders help share assets, templates, and files with the right people. Realty Commercial's marketing manager is ensuring that their team has access to the latest branding materials for the new property campaign. To share a folder, open Projects, select on a folder, and hit Share. Enter the email addresses of your team members and set their permissions. When working with a team, it's important to manage who has access to your designs and folders. Canva makes it easy to control sharing and permissions. To share a design or folder, select the Share button and enter the email addresses of your collaborators. You can choose whether they can view, comment, or edit the content. So say if Realty Commercial wants to share a draft property listing with a client, they can share the working file and give them permission to leave comments on the doc, but not edit it directly. If you need to update permissions later, select the three dots next to the design or folder and choose Share. 
This way, you can keep full control over who can make changes or just view your work. That's it for this lesson. You've learned how to keep your designs organized by using folders, start items, and team sharing features. You've also explored how to manage brand assets and quickly find what you need using search and filters. Now you can breathe easy and enjoy your wonderfully neat and tidy filing system. See you next time.